I grew up in the Lutheran church, um, and I knew that God loved me, and I knew that Jesus died for my sins, but not until I did a Bible study with Stone Cross missionaries did I realize that God wanted to have a relationship with me. And um, so as I learned that, I, I accepted Jesus as my Savior, and, and um, I received the Holy Spirit at that time because, you know, Jesus promises that he, he'll send his helper. And um, I couldn't believe how much, as I read and prayed and went to church, how much God had, um, uh, how much the Holy, how my understanding was so much better. I understood what God was trying to tell me. Um, and I really felt empowered as I prayed. It was just, it was awesome. Um, I went to church when I moved to Boulder to the Church of Christ. <coughs> and um, as I went to a Bible study there, they talked that I needed to be baptized. And I'd been sprinkled as a baby and I thought, well, I know you're supposed to, or they, they, <laughs> they, uh, um, it's okay. I can cut all this out, okay, so it's okay. that's good. It's okay. Um, I know that they, you usually accepted Jesus, and then you professed that he was, and then you got baptized. And But I thought, well, I was baptized as a baby. I just did it backwards. Um, I'm still okay. But as I studied and prayed and um, read God's word, I realized, you know, God changed my mind in that I did need to be baptized, so I was. And in, in that came even more power, I felt. Um, then life went on, and then I ended up here at Chapel of the Plains. <laughs> and when I started here, Bud Barkin was this worship leader, and that was crazy wild. Um, I got used to it, but, you know, in the Lutheran church, you don't even say amen out loud. So to be here and have it be loud and stuff, it was crazy. But um, then we had done... Um, different Bible studies and they all, they all talked about the fullness of the spirit and speaking in tongues and I still wasn't didn't want any part of that it just scared me to death <laughs> but as I studied and led the junior high and high school Sunday school there were different times um, the curriculum would talk about communion and baptism speaking in tongues and worshiping God, and, and I'm just like, I don't still don't want that. But I taught it, and then as, again, God changed my mind as I studied and prayed and, and read his word, and I decided that I did want to do that. So I went to the altar and said, God, I want to speak in tongues, and Billy came and prayed over me, and I still wasn't able to do it, but... Um, and there were different times that people prayed over me, and I still couldn't, for what reason, I don't even know. But um, Danelle Mertens had given me a CD of John Bevere on the Holy Spirit, and as I listened to that and did what he said, even though it's just a, it was just a guttural sound, and I just, but as I listened to that, or as I continued to practice it, I guess, just went on with the sound, I realized that I could do it. And I was just, I was driving and bawling and it was crazy. But with that is even more power because the Holy Spirit comes to help you as you minister to other people. And that's the reason for it. It's not, I thought for a long time I, I couldn't speak in tongues because I'd just be prideful about it. But um, I haven't even told very many people that I can do it. It's awesome, though. Speaking to God in tongues is awesome. 